In this video, we're going to focus on dividing fractions. So let's start with this example. How can we divide 4 over 3 by 2 over 5? Perhaps you heard of the expression keep change flip. So what it means is that you keep the first fraction the same, you change division to multiplication, and then you flip the second fraction. So now we can just multiply the two fractions. So let's multiply across. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 20 over 6. Now what we need to do is reduce 20 over 6. Since both numbers are even, we could divide both numbers by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so the answer is 10 over 3. Now let's try another example. 3 over 5 divided by 1 over 4. Feel free to pause the video and try that example. So let's keep the first fraction the same and then let's change division to multiplication and then we're going to flip the second fraction and then multiply across. So 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. Now we can't reduce this fraction, so this is going to be the final answer. It's 12 over 5. Now let's try an example with large numbers. So let's say if we have 12 over 21 divided by 16 over 28. So feel free to pause the video and I'll work on that example. Go ahead and give it a shot. So let's keep the first fraction the same. And as always, let's change division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction. Now, when multiplying two fractions, if you have large numbers, it's better to simplify before you multiply. We can rewrite 12 as 4 times 3. And 21, that's basically 7 times 3. 28, we can rewrite that as 7 times 4. And 16 is 4 times 4. So we can cancel a 7. We could cancel the 3. We can cancel a 4. And we can cancel another 4. When everything cancels, your answer is a 1. If you think about it, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 4 over 4 is 1. So the whole thing is simply 1. Now let's move on to our next example. And so it's going to be 30 over 24 divided by 45 over 72. So go ahead and try that example. So let's begin by changing division to multiplication and by flipping the second fraction. So what can we break 30 into? So what two numbers multiply to 30? You could say 15 and 2, you could say 10 and 3, you could say 6 and 5. But notice that 24, you can write that as 6 and 4. So therefore, we want to make 30 equal to 6 times 5, because 24, we can make it 6 times 4. And we can cancel a 6. So you always want to break down the numbers in such a way that you can cancel after you break it down. Now, 72 and 45, they're both divisible by 9. So I'm going to write 72 as 9 times 8 and 45 as 9 times 5. So at this point, I can cancel a 9 and I can cancel a 5. So I'm left with 8 over 4. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the final answer in this problem is 2. Sometimes you may need to divide two fractions in this form. So let's say if we have a fraction over another fraction. So we have two fractions placed in one big fraction. How can we divide those two fractions? It's important to understand that this expression that we see here is equivalent to this expression. It's 24 over 63. And this big fraction means divided by the other fraction, 32 over 27. So now it's in a form that we're more familiar with. So using keep change flip, it's going to be 24 over 63 times.
times the reciprocal of the second fraction, 27 over 32. So now we need to find a way, the best way, to basically break down these numbers so that we can cancel and get a final answer. So what two numbers multiply to 24? We have 1 and 24, which is not going to help us, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 6 and 4. Now looking at the 32, 32 is divisible by 8, not by 6. 8 times 4 is 32. So therefore, I want to break down 24 into 8 and 3, and 32 into 8 and 4, because I can cancel an 8. Now looking at 63 and 27, both numbers are divisible by 9. 63 is 9 times 7, 27 is 9 times 3. So I can cancel a 9. So let's write out what we have left over. So in this fraction, we have a 3 and a 7. And in the second fraction, we're left with a 3 and a 4. 3 times 3 is 9, 7 times 4 is 28. And so this is the final answer. We can't simplify it any further. Now let's work on another problem, a similar example. 14 over 38 divided by 35 over 57. So go ahead and work on this problem. Let's begin by rewriting it, just like we did before. So this is 14 over 38 divided by 35 over 57. So now let's convert division into multiplication using keep change flip. So let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and we're going to flip the second fraction. So now let's simplify before we multiply. So looking at 14 and 35, both numbers are divisible by 7. So I'm going to write 14 as 7 times 2 and 35 as 7 times 5. Now what can you tell me about 38 and 57? What do you know about these two numbers? Looking at them, they're both divisible by 19. 38 is 19 times 2. 57 is 19 times 3. And so we can cancel a 19, we can cancel a 7, and we can cancel a 2. So therefore, we're left with this as our final answer, which is 3 over 5. So that's it for this problem. Now let's say if we have an improper fraction and we wish to divide it by a whole number, like 9. How can we divide a fraction by a whole number? Well the first thing we need to do is rewrite the whole number as a fraction. 9 is the same as 9 over 1. And then we can do what we've been doing before, keep change flip. So let's keep the first fraction the same and then change division to multiplication. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So now all we need to do is multiply across. 8 times 1 is 8. And 5 times 9 is 45. And so this is our answer. 8 over 45. And we can't simplify this fraction. So now what if we have a whole number divided by a fraction? What should we do? Well, we need to do the same thing. Rewrite the whole number as a fraction. 5 is the same as 5 over 1. Let's keep the first fraction the same, and then let's change division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction. Now, we have no choice but to multiply across. 5 times 7 is 35. And 1 times 12 is 12. So this is our answer, 35 over 12. Now sometimes you may need to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. And so that's going to be the next video in this series. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description section of the video that you're currently watching. So feel free to check that out and uh, that'll teach you how to convert 
an improper fraction into a mixed number. Thanks for watching.